Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to Lee Eat Part 2, The Lighting Dragon and the Azure Dream Eater. So let's get to it. Because we should be in a new town now. Once upon a time there was a fluffy white sheep. The sheep fed on nightmares, so it lived off of the nightmares of the humans around it. But one day, the sheep grew tired of the taste of nightmares. Just then, it saw a girl having a wonderful, happy dream. The sheep secretly ate her happy dream. It was delighted by the taste. But the girl whose dream was stolen became little more than an empty shell. The end. Oh, the end? Okay. What was I born for? Why can't I eat people's dreams? Is this okay? Is it okay to just eat them? I better go to bed. Hat's... Hat's a little big on me. Well, it shouldn't matter. Hey, can you really just take those? That guy was just sleeping. Sure I can. I mean, I left him my clothes, didn't I? And I blew near all your money on, on, on your new clothes. Well, okay, but those clothes didn't get all really stinky when you fell in that horse stuff last town. Can't complain when it's on the house, huh? Oh, we're stealing? A badge? What's that? These are what guards wear. Are you telling me that dumb-looking doofus was a guard? A guard for a pleasure resort. Herod! Close. But no cigar. It says Harold. So Harold will be my name here. Har- Hal works. That's probably easier for you to remember. Gotcha. Oh, I got new outfits. I like that. There we go. Wonder if they'll recognize me by face. I did try to mimic his hair. If we're lucky, we might even get to stay the night in the resort. But any hitches and we're making our getaway, got it? What kind of place is it? It's mm, It's got fun and games. Fun? Games? Hooray! Don't get too wild now. I wonder if I kept some of my skills. I sincerely doubt it. Okay, so we're at a holiday resort right now? Hello there. Welcome to Azure Town. This is our prized resort, but only authorized personnel are, are allowed inside currently. So what are you? Name yourself. Yes, number 3055 Harold Redford reporting for duty. Number 3055 Harold Redford? This must be the new guard that was to start today, brother. Aha. Uh -huh. Harold, how old are you? 18, sir. I see. So if I might say, your eyes seem so mature for a man your age. Good eyes. Eyes that have stared down death and made it out alive. You can tell that by my eyes, jeez. But still, no alcohol, that will get you fired on the spot. Hmm? Who's that child? Effie, I'm Papa's. This is my little sister, Effina. Ah, you don't look anything alike, though. We don't look alike either, so we shouldn't speak ill of these siblings now, should we? In... What way do you not look alike? Is it alright if I ask you something? Certainly. Would it be possible for us to lodge a well at the resort? Hmm, perhaps it's best you ask the manager. Have you some need? Actually, we're looking for our mother. Our dad's already passed away, so we've left home without hesitation and now we're traveling to find mom. But we need money for that, so I just have to keep taking brief jobs like these. I see. It would be perhaps too costly to go to an inn in terms of both time and money. What a thoughtful youth. Personally, yes, I would gladly accept. I firmly believe that the manager will allow it as well. Thank you so much. If anything should come up, feel free to count on us. I am the elder brother, Tom. And I'm the younger brother, Mars. Okay, thank you again. May happiness come to you. 
Oh, the yet friendly creatures. Mars, the younger twin. Anything which my brother does not know, I often will. So, pleasure, so please inquire. I'm Tom, Mars' older brother. Come to me in times of trouble. I will help you to do the best of my ability. Help you to the best of my ability. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty this morning, apparently. You're 18, Papa? No, that's drinking age. Found the guy's age along with his badge. Oh, and those dogs could talk. That's so cool. They're not dogs. They're humans. I thought they looked like cats, so you got me confused. What? People used to have all kinds of categories and races, depending on how you looked. But now we just call everybody humans. So, what's different between those guys and dogs? People walk on two legs and talk. Anything else is an animal. About the only creatures that look human but aren't called... But aren't called it these days are dragons. What's the difference? Oh, sorry, I clicked that. I guess that dragons can use magic and people can't? People can't eat lies or be immortal or pass through walls and floors. And a human's head doesn't spit fire when they're half asleep. Let's look for the manager. Forgot to ask what they even look like, huh? Yes, that would have been wise. Oh well, no time to turn back. The newspaper here has a big headline. Phantom Thief Strikes Again. Lots of books. I wonder if all of this music is original. I don't recognize it. Lots of books. Lots of books. That would be really cool if it is. Um, this looks like a theater. Or a church? In a resort? Well, I guess it's possible. I mean, some resorts actually do have tiny, like really tiny churches. But that's not really common. Lifeless eyes. I sincerely doubt those would be real eyes. Like in hospitals, you have like tiny prayer rooms and stuff like that. But even those are fairly uncommon. What are those on the bar? Glasses? Can I sneak some drinks? A large stock of alcohol. Okay. We're very tiny for this bar. That's adorable. Imagine working there. A lot of books again. See, why is everything so empty? I thought this was a resort full of people. I've just been here. Sorry. Um, this way? Usually there's like a reception or something. Oh god, we got hundreds of rooms here. That's gonna be the difficulty. Okay. There's not even anybody in the rooms. That's so weird. Why is this so abandoned? Okay, let's just try the other side. And maybe there's doors behind the stairs that I haven't seen yet. Ooh, champagne. Or a drink. I wouldn't know if that's champagne. Oh, hello there. Oh, do we have customers? This isn't the place for games. Oh, look at the size of those. Pardon me, I'm Harold, and I'll be working here as a guard for a little while. I was looking for someone. The manager. But you see, since I'm new, I'm not even sure what kind of person I'm looking for. Oh, is that right? The manager is a woman with bandages around her face. I think you'll know her right away once you see her. I see, thank you very much. I um, suppose you're the entertainment here? I guess this new guard was a younger kid, but you look pretty mature. It's an honor to hear you say so, miss. <laughs> she went out a little bit ago, so she might not be back quite yet. She's never long she's never gone long, so perhaps you'll bump into her if you just walk around. I must mention we do get quite a few unruly guests, but good luck with the job. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Yep, I'm still doing voices. Still being requested, so I'm still doing voices. Oh look a little rocky horse. That's cute. So bandages on her face? How did that happen? Does she have a pet dragon too? Okay, let me just quickly check. No, okay. Can't go behind the stairs. No, can't go behind the stairs. So where is this matter? Wait, wait, wait. We haven't properly explored here yet. I do not know if there's any doors here. I wouldn't think so, but no. No. Very well. This is locked. Okay, so that is a door. Gotta keep that in mind, but I'm probably not going to be able to open that until the end of the game. 
Um. Okay, so you don't have any new info? Okay, then. Maybe we walk to the beginning again. No? Okay, then. Alright. Again, I love how this game works with very limited space. They tell a story, quite a, 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 quite a fun story in my opinion, but on a very limited f amount of sets, and I like that. But, um... The manager, please? Ah, who are you? Um, visitors still getting ready here? Sorry to interrupt. I'm Harold. I'll be working here as a guard briefly. Harold. Oh, right, gotcha. I heard about you. If you want the manager, she should be back here soon. What is this manager like? The manager looks real sour. She's got a good ass and them legs. Oh, another one? Didn't see you there, shorty. And I'm sure surprised to see you've got a kid. You knew I wasn't Harold from the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, because I'm a friend of his. Of course, he's a loser and an awful drunk, so truth is, I hate his guts. Yeah, never really a good combination. Don't worry, I won't tell nobody. Heck, I'm thankful you're here instead of that jerk. But maybe it'll be trouble, you know. I know, I'll make a prank call. What? How would that solve anything? You're just like hell. So what, Runt? How is this guy like me? Huh? You are! Hey, patched up guy, list your three favorite things. Oh, the name's Lucas, and I guess I like bare money, money and women? See? The same! No way, this guy's a womanizer. Me? I'm what you call a gentleman. Got that backwards, bud? You picking a fight? They're exactly alike, but maybe that doesn't mean they can get along. Hey, Mr. Lucas, what else do you like? Uh, well, given the job I do... I like seeing people be happy in fun-filled places like this. What the heck is that? You lied. Get on it, Runt. Ugh, enough with the Runt stuff. Call me Effie. It's my name. Oh, a little lie again. Let's see, do I have my skills? No. Oh, but I got a grenade. I'm gonna try that. Don't worry about what comes after the throw. Okay, there you go. Oh, he's really called Hal now? So, this girl can make lies manifest and eat them? You told a lie, so it appeared as a monster. Um, so you actually hate seeing people happy? Mm, I see. Uh, not so much hate, I just don't care. I gotta admit, people's sorrows seem a bit more on the interesting side to me. What a weirdo. Hey, look who's talking. I'd say the same of you. Would other people's misfortune actually make equally happy things happen to me? Sounds like a pretty lousy way of thinking. Hate it. Oh, you're weird. But when Hal gets sad, it makes me sad too. Seriously? Then you're a weirdo too. Oh, so we're all weirdos here. Hooray! So, is the tiny one a dragon or something? Wow, correct! Yeah, well, we've sorta of got one of our own. A dragon, you mean? Well, it's a kid the manager picked up somewhere a couple of months ago. He eats dreams or something. And only dragons can do that kind of magic stuff, right? Of course, I've never seen it myself, and the mentor just says he's a human, not a dragon. A dream-eating dragon? The cops never got on our case for hauling a dragon around. Hey, it's not like we're doing anything wrong. I only take her along because she's unruly and she does weird stuff. Hmm, gotcha. Oh dang, I gotta clean up before I get in trouble again. Alright, beat it guys, manager's gotta be back by now. Yeah, good luck. I don't need a guy like you cheering me on. Yeah, I don't think I'd be friends with someone who looks exactly like me either. Maybe that intel that... Maybe that intel that there was... What? Maybe that intel that there was a dragon in town was right. Wow, some of the phrase forming is really... Odd? Maybe that's just me. I mean, my English is not flawless, so... Gathering info this time? Yep, info on dragon sells well. Plus, we might even learn a thing or two about you. Really? Really. What's got you so happy? Wonder if that manager's back. Let's look around some more. Yeah, the manager should be back by now. That's what they said. So, maybe outside? Oh, there's someone there. Um... What do you suppose I'm about to in transform into? 
A penguin! A penguin! I see. Indeed, it's a guess as good as any. You'll see that there's nothing up my sleeve. Three. Two. But are you really going to turn into a penguin? I want to be one too. One. Hmm. The answer was a sheep. But that woman... She vanished. Instantly. How? I was watching. Huh? Oh no, I have bad experiences with these kind of shows. So, are you a customer? No, surely not to be inside at this time. You're a trespasser. Ow! Well, miss, why? A little girl? Ah, uh, Tom and Mars told me about you. So you're the little sister of the new god. Back for your life. Ah, no. I meant to say I've been most impolite. Apologies, I used to be an executioner. I still have some habits. And you struck me as exceptionally shady, so... Are you hurt? No, it's fine. It's really my fault for making such an abrupt request. You mean lodging here? Oh, not at all. There are guest rooms on the second floor which you may use. We have spare rooms, so yes, you can certainly use the far room on the west side. The far room on the west side. Okay, west side, okay. Your main duties as a guard are to patrol the interior and prevent trouble between guests. But there are, occasionally, some rowdy, hot-blooded ones. Report those to me, please. Um, so you can transform then? No, so that I can bring the whip down upon them. I'm really in your debt. Uh, I should introduce myself. I'm Sofia Juanelle. Juanelle? And to my right is... I'm William. You could call me Will. Will? Are you a dragon? No, no. I have horns, yes, but they're sheep horns. Oh, so they're different. Well, I have other preparations to make, so if you'll excuse me... Bye-bye. Uh, goodbye. Okay. Odd encounter. Hey, Runt, if you straight up ask someone if they're a dragon, they won't just say yes. Why not? I keep telling you, dragons are rare creatures. Since they're rare, bad guys will target them. That's why they usually hide it, you know. The police, ca the police guys can be more open about it because they're strong enough to protect themselves. Ah. But you never really stop me from telling people I'm a dragon, Hal. I don't like this conversation. Let's find a room and rest. Hey, for real, tell me. Okay, so west. The most, the room on the far west. I had to think about what was west again. I haven't been outside in a while. I've got work to do tonight, so I'm gonna rest some. If you don't bother anybody, you can wander around and have some fun. You're gonna work? Because I came here as the guard herald, see? I'm not pro at impersonation, but it's not hard if it's my first time meeting these guys. Don't tucker yourself out. You mean physically, in terms of lying? Or in terms of lying? Um, both? Right, gotcha. If you leave the resort, don't head into town. The place is huge as hell. Oh, and here's your snack. Eat it when you get hungry. Yay! Okay. <clears throat> See, is there anything I could talk to you about? What? I wanna play. Nah, I don't wanna expend my energy on you. Let's play. Not happening. They give me something sweet to eat. I just did. Some more, more! <clears throat> just a little? Stop shouting, you're making my ears ring. Please! Alright, fine, here, now go play elsewhere. Yay! Whining works in this game. What? I'm not giving you any more. You have some too, Hal. Sweet things make you happy. Sure, thanks. Even though this scanning was mine to begin with. Okay. So, I guess I'm out of time for this episode, but this was quite an interesting intro. I mean, now apparently there are dog and sheep people too, instead of just dragons. I don't know why that weirds me out more than dragons, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a bunch of links down in the description if you want to play this game for yourself. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!